Greetings, I am Cross Knights, and this is Let's Play Little Inferno Ninja Vanish. I don't think I showed that that's what that did before, so I want to do that. Anyway, I just figured I'd look through some memories. Because uh, these are all pictures from when I traveled around the country. Boot. Here, with my now girlfriend, though she wasn't my girlfriend then, I guess. But, uh, yeah, I don't remember, I don't remember where this one is. But, um,. This one's from Joshua Tree, which is like a national park, which is pretty cool. And this one is actually from the Grand Canyon, but like not at the Grand Canyon. There was this like weird tower that I climbed up, and I took a picture of the Grand... Like I, it's pointing at the Grand Canyon, but you can't really see it. You can hardly see it when the picture is big. You probably really can't see it here. And I think this is somewhere... Is it in Colorado? It's probably before then. Might be in Utah. Utah actually looks like a crazy Martian landscape. It's insane. Um, but yeah. I, I said I was going to get enough money for the next magazine, and I, I, I almost have enough money, but not quite. And I decided to waste time, you know, burning memories. But memories are the most burnable, and the most cherished, and the most moneyful. But not really, because they only give you, like, three extra coins. Still, eh. I'm trying to think of different things to do at the beginning of these, because those photos give me a lot of opportunity to do anything. Anything! Yeah, meh. Alright, and the game's running a little bit slow, so maybe I should record in a little bit. And I do have enough money now, so... Excellent. Guide to stylish living. Pow! Time to get crackin', as it were. And I've got a terrible secret. The smoldering first book of the terrible trilogy. We got that. We got old lady doll. Now I think <laughs> perhaps she'll die. She kind of looks like the uh, the woman that keeps on messaging me, but I'm not sure if that's actually supposed to be her. I've got a number of tickets, but not a lot of monies. Let's see here. Do it. There we go. I always feel the need to mention when it's been a very long time since recording, especially within videos. But it's been like it's been a week or two since the my intro. I just started, you know, I stopped recording, then I get to it. Howl at the moon. I'm going to assume that's the mini moon and a wolf of some kind. That would just make too much sense. This woman has a terrible secret. The secret is that she hid um, some money in her book, I guess. Smash. I'm. S that was really inappropriate. I don't actually hate old ladies, despite what certain people on the podcast say. So There, I, is it the coyote? Because he's howling. It's a howling coyote. I bet if I get that in the mini moon, then I can do amazing things. And let me just... This is just so that I can get more money. I'm just going to start dropping tickets. I don't want to wait for things. I wait for no man. Or any wolf. Uh. Oh, dear. Oh, the woman was filled with flies. <laughs> That's good. I'm glad I... Oh, God. The flies are... <laughs> you know, it'd be very easy for you to fly is to uh, not get burnt up. It's your fault, and I don't feel bad. Oh, God. Headless old lady. That I do feel bad for. Let's see. Oh, cat lady. I be oh, man. I bet... Th you know, this poo-poo kitty, I swear to God, is in so many different combos. Yeah, let's do cat lady. That's probably cat lady. That'd make a lot of sense. And we got the modern lamp. Let's ticket that. Well, I don't need to ticket that. Ticket the lady and ticket the cat. You both have tickets. I hope you know what you've done. There we go. There, there we go. <laughs> I'm really not treating this old lady doll very nicely. I mean, admittedly, I was going to burn it, so... I guess there's a limit to how nicely I could treat it in the first place. And the lamp. I don't think this lamp is part of any combos. Part of the lamp combo? I don't know. The let there be light combo? Cold War framed writer's blocks? Alright, it's gonna be hard for me to figure out- Oh, elderly couple. Again, the old lady. Uh, I should've- hmm. I should've read so I could've done multiple combos. I'm not gonna try to do any more combos until I get a few more items up so then I can do multiple ones at once. When I play with my Lethal Inferno fireplace, I have so much fun. I stare into the fire for hours and days. Where does all the time go? It floats up, up the chimney. Up, up, up. Like everything else. Uh, I mean, metaphorically, maybe. 
Maybe you're burning your time. Eh, in the little inferno gym. Little. Alright, writer's block. I bet that. So these are a bunch of words you can actually make uh, patterns with them. Those have got to be. Oh, it's probably these because these have letters on them. So I bet these two combined is, is the writer's block combo. And we got an oil painting. Now, I, there is a framed combo also. So, this has a frame, and this has a frame. I bet that's the framed combo. But I'm just guessing. We got pretty little balloons! Lifting the spirits of children everywhere. And those balloons will go up, up, up the little inferno. And burn up. In a horrible... E... E... <laughs> Two E's is actually pretty good for making words, right? Let me... Weenge. Of course. Standing for wonderful, educational, electric, neuro... Um... J no, that's a J. Giraffes! I don't, I don't freaking know. It's about the behavior, the bike behavior. Um, due to the smoked pig... button. Pig Smoke Button Girl. The new hero, Pig Smoke Button Girl. I'd read all the comics about Pig Smoke Button Girl. Eh. Let's put these here. Weighted by bricks. I'm surprised they're able to go up at all, to be honest. Alright, let's just cram. Let's cram all these things in. And... Oh god, no, come back. You're not allowed to leave yet. Oh god. No, oh, jeez. Writer's block combo, go. Framed combo, go. That balloon's doing pretty well. Oh, God. There was actually a balloon that my girlfriend got for me on Valentine's Day that just said, like, I love you. And it ended up... Like, we weren't in Arizona for that long, but after she got it, it was it pretty much stopped floating the day that we left. It was kind of great. Not that that's a metaphor for lack of love. I just think it was interesting. <laughs> I think we did keep the balloon. We're, I was hoping to, like, let it go, but we kept it for so long that it... You know, wasn't gonna go anywhere if I let it up outside. We got the triangle idol. We've got the fire extinguisher for putting out fire. We've got Russian nesting dolls. Each equally as unique as the one before. <laughs> You're special, just like everybody else. Identically special. Polpuri bomb! Use in any olfactory emergency. Fair enough. Let's see here. And we're gonna lose it. Oh, oh. Oh, boom, you're mine, two tickets. Rawr. Let's maximize those tickets. So we got a barrel. Got the nesting dolls. Now, okay, this one I had to look up um, in my original playthrough, but I think this doll is part of the Cold War uh, thing. And I was totally, like, the Cold War, I wasn't getting that it was about, like, the historical Cold War. I was stuck in the fact that there was, like, a, an ice bomb that you can get later. And I was like, it has to have something to do with the ice bomb, but no, it had to do with the Cold War, like the one that happened in history. Oh, you stay there. Let me see here. No, I'm gonna have to burn some stuff in order to get stuff back. I think the doll's probably... Er, keep it away. Can I keep it up here? Haha! -ha! No, it's gonna burn. No, it's too late. <laughs> oh, God. What if I buy it really fast? The other thing is, um... This, Uncle Sam's Blam Blams. <laughs> if I get this, put it in really fat. Yes, I did it, Cold War. Because uh, Uncle Sam represents America, and the Russian next and go, obviously, represents Russia. So we got a little Cold War going on. But yeah, the Pulpery Bomb. One of them, I, I think it's the Pulpery Bomb that makes the fl the uh, the fires different colors. It could be the barrel, though. could easily be the barrel. Yes. Put this. Okay, well. <laughs> Somehow I thought that uh, starting it would, you know, would cause the fire extinguisher to go and not just explode, but that's probably is how a fire extinguisher would react if lit on fire. So, to be fair, is this powder barrel. Okay, this is the thing that changes things' colors. The Pulpal Rebomb just makes things smell better, I suppose. Cello. Cellos are weird, they're just gigantic freaking violins. What's up there? Up out of the chimney? Ooh, it swirls in my head like smoke. Sugar plums appears to be contemplative. Eh. 
as you might be if you spent your entire life in a room burning things. I don't know if you spent her entire life, but <laughs> based on that little inferno ad, it seems like children are just told to, you know, sit next to a fire because the world has gone to crap due to global freezing. Which is a terrifying concept. I've been terrified ever since I saw that Twilight Zone episode about it where the woman had the fever and and she thought she thought it was getting hot, but it was getting cold. The, the twist was that it was really getting cold and not hot. And then a sad song played about it. Bubble hug! Eh. What? Oh, you can pop them. <laughs> huh, if you don't catch the money, I wonder if... It, does it come back? It might not. Whoa, I take it. <laughs> Definitely want to catch that. Eh. Cool. And we got this cocoon. Oh, so a butterfly. And it escaped. Good. I finally let something live and not murder it. I did try to murder it at the end, though. For consistency's sake, of course. And we want... <laughs> medicated mommy pills. Mommy needs her breakfast. And the freezing rain cloud. And also another exploding barrel, because that was fun. The fire flickers with possibilities. I wonder what happens... if I get a little closer... Don't. Don't? Probably a good idea, don't. What? A burn! That's what happens if you get a little closer. Alright, let's, let's drop some tickets on this. Oh, Sugar Plum's a sure talkative today. We're gonna get these medicated mommy pills and then freeze them. Turn around. Behind you. A warm fire in front. But what's behind? Just turn your head. Could you? If you wanted? I can stare into the fire forever! But not backwards! This is the point she's actually... Like, she's making a comment about the actual game mechanic, which is interesting. You can't... I can't turn behind me. I can't see what's behind me. Oh, jeez. Okay. It looks like I had to actually touch the cloud for it to, uh... affect things. Well, better get these things out of here. <laughs> Take that, ice. This isn't a game about ice. This isn't little... freezer. I actually feel it is sad that it took me so long to think of the word freezer. <laughs> Let's see. Ah, oh, we've got the spontaneous combustion doll. I would love this as a kid. I also likely would have burnt my house down. Never look directly into her eyes. Alright, now that we've... Well, we've almost unlocked everything. We've got a snow globe. Um, hmm. What do we still got? we got pill popper, medicated midlife. Alright, I already... Alright, so... That's the medicated mommy pills, I'm sure. And the midlife crisis mitigator. Now, are there other pills? Because it said, um... Pill popper. This is also pills, right? Yeah, best friend supplements are probably pills. Yeah, and we can't buy this yet. But soon. Soon. Alright, what haven't we done? Snow globe I haven't shown. And this thing. That costs seven tickets. Eh. And... there. I'm assuming he's gonna blow up. Oh dear. Wait! Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I think I kinda ruined that by freezing him at the last minute. My house... is on fire! <laughs> that can't be good. It hurts my eyes. I can see forward forever. Up, up the chimney.
My fireproof curtains! I don't want to jump to conclusions, but I feel like something really bad just happened. Foom! A gust of warm wind shoots up the air into another cold night. Fwee! That wasn't a forecast at all. Was it a volcano? A some storm? Heh. <laughs> Incoming report? Oh, that's not good. It's... Oh, no. A house has burned down. Another resident lost. Whoever they were, remember, fire can be warm, fire can be fun, fire can be dangerous. But there's something even more dangerous than fire. Be safe, boys and girls. Zoom! Reporting from the weather balloon, over the smokestacks, over the city, the weatherman. Still don't want to jump to conclusions. I mean, this thing survived. Oh, dear. Someone actually... <laughs> I usually don't say post, um... Like, don't post spoilers on, on videos where I don't think it would be a problem, but someone actually posted a comment alluding to this event on the last video, and I was like... Burr! It's like I had, to, I had to throw an axe at it. Like, wh why would you do that? It's like... It's like one of the only crazy things that happens in this game. You're just going to spoil it for people? Come on now. But I've gotten all the items. Um, I, I've lived through a tragedy of my friend, or at the very least, my pen pal, as I never saw her before. But um, it's all about the combos now. This is the solemn, solemn duty, making combos. All right, so we have clean dishes and cat bath. Once again, I'm telling you. The cat has to be the most used item in this entire game, and it poops everywhere, and it's gross, and I hate poop, and it's dumb. Uh, so we want this. So that'll be for a clean cat, and then I think I get these dishes. Then we have clean dishes, that makes sense. And we want the pill popper thing, so I'm also gonna get the... Oh, I can't afford medicated mommy pills anymore, that's unfortunate. Alright, we'll let that run out. Right, let's get... Oh. You know what, I, I'm i running a little bit low on tickets. I think I'm just going to wait uh, a minute or two before I use, like, six tickets on this guy. Though I don't need him, never mind. I don't, I don't even need him. It's all the other ones that I need. Yeah. He was just, you know, the money increaser. So we're going to get some clean dishes and some clean cats. Eh. In fact, I shouldn't have bought that guy. Then I could have gotten the medicated mommy pills, but oh well. <laughs> we'll get that combo another time. Burn, burn, burn. Cat bath. Clean plate. Very nice. Give me all the money now. Money now. Er, er. I don't want to have to catch it in bubbles, for God's sakes. And that... Oh. That plate was uh, oddly on fire. I think something has to be pretty hot for a ceramic plate to light on fire. Let's get these medicated mommy pills once again. Now that I can afford them, we'll get these best friend supplements. All right, pollinating. Com hmm. Did the cocoon have flowers in it? I think it did. If it did, then you gotta think it's the seed packet and the cocoon. She went in there to powder her nose and hasn't come back. <laughs> I don't remember if it was flowers, but it could be. And I'm not gonna have enough money for it. But uh, let's see, orchestral combo. That could be the opera singer and the cello. That makes sense because she's part of a. Well, she's not a part of an orchestra, she's part of an opera, right? But they're both musical, so I don't know. Let's see. Cocoon. And flower packet. Yeah, pollinating combo. There weren't flowers that came out, it was a it was a butterfly, but they pollinate, right? I thought only bees pollinated. I thought I don't know. Whatever. It worked. <laughs> All I know is the end result was successful. Three on you. Alright, pills and pills, hopefully. That was not... Wait, it was, alright. I was like, that was not the combo. Oh, look at them all. <laughs> As they explode with great ferocity. 
Oh, happy pills. Boom. Okay. So we got you, and I think we're going to play a nice celloed song for you. And where is... There you are. The mini moon. We're going to howl at the moon. Bark at the moon. Do, 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 do. Oh, God. No, no, no. <laughs> she almost lit on fire way before I wanted her to. Now, you can just, like, stay here, right? You're not going to just start being weird and explosive without me telling you to. I hope. Please. Because I haven't set up everything yet. Okay. I'm going to set the dog here. And... Five tickets? I can spend five tickets. Kaboom. Kaboom. All right. Let's see if we're right about this. Let me just put the cello on her. <laughs> yep, orchestral combo. Better get the moon ready. Oh, he just disintegrated. Oh, look, moonlight melody combo. I didn't even know that was a combo. <laughs> I completed a bunch of things at once. That's excellent. Okay, cool. Um, I really thought that spontaneous combustion boy was going to... Um, explode. Because that, he was a, yeah, spontaneous combustion doll. But I guess he just lights on fire, which, you know, it's not that impressive in this game. <laughs> a lot of things light on fire, because I light them on fire. Medicated midlife, didn't I? I thought I did that. Was it wrong? Medicated? Midlife. How could it, how could it not be this? And I guess I'll buy these two just for, out of paranoia now. I really I want to experiment with this thing more. Because <laughs> it didn't do what I thought it would. And thus science needs to happen. So, oh yeah, there's more. Alright, elderly couple. Hmm. Oh, okay. I think I got that one. Obviously the old lady doll. But in this we have the gentleman adventurer doll. Who is also an elderly man. Alright, now this is the part where I just wait for... Uh, three minutes. <laughs> and don't subject you guys to it. There we go. I just decided to watch a little bit of Psycho Pass on Netflix as I was waiting. <laughs> Excellent anime. I was told about it like two years ago, but I didn't, uh... I, I just didn't get to it, because I don't really watch too much anime. Okay, so anyway, maybe I should explain what's happening. Uh-oh. Um, meh. Uh, I noticed that there's also a change the bulb combo, and I figured that is, you know, I disparaged the lamp being relevant to anything, but... I assume that uh, it has to do with the lamp in this, but... Okay. So let's do the pills first. Even though I think that alcohol is going to explode. Alright, change the bulb combo. Midlife Christ Medigator. Again, I still don't know why they didn't activate before. I'll probably know once I watch the video. Eep boop. And then we got this nice elderly couple. Unfortunately, the man's hat is on fire. So that might cause some issues. Is this... What is this? What? Oh, it's the cap to the bottle. <laughs> Fair enough. And there we have it. And now you! What do you do? Oh. Weird. It's like he extinguishes all of the other... See, sometimes you use an item and it's not clear what the effects are because too many other stuff is happening, especially the moon. The reason I didn't realize that the ninja disappeared when you burnt him is because I burnt him with the moon and he was just floating around. So, alright. <laughs> That's almost all of them. Excellent. I haven't had to look up anything yet, though I looked up a little bit before I started playing, like, you know, a month ago, so I guess that kind of counts and I remember, but... Oh no, the terrible mystery! Okay, I bet... Because obviously it's the uh, terrible secret, but that old guy, isn't he, doesn't he have something to do with mysteries? Maybe I'm wrong. Damn it, what's the terrible mis- oh wait, the secret sauce, right? Could be the secret sauce. Mystery seasoning. Ah, that has nothing to do with old men. Stop, drop, and roll combo. Now, I have to assume that the fire extinguisher is involved, first of all. But then what? Um, that one, I don't know. I might have to look that one up. That might be the first one. I, I'm really not sure about that. 
I mean, maybe it should be obvious, but it's not. And then the colorful, the colorful things. This one's definitely part of it because it makes colorful is's. These guys have to be part of it because they also make colored fire. I don't remember what else makes colored fire besides uh, this, which turns everything green. But that's not, I don't know, that's going to that's gonna override all the other colors, I think, so I don't know. Maybe Terrible Secret, Mystery Seasoning, and an old man who's selling it to you. The Terrible Seasoning! Get it today? <laughs> and, of course, the Terrible Seasoning causes weird, weird, yeah, it just causes things to crumble. <laughs> and explode, even if they're on fire. Yeah, I couldn't even pick it up, it just crumbled in my hands. So, hmm... Stop, drop, and roll combo, I don't know. I really don't know. It's probably gonna, like, I'm probably gonna have to kick myself in the face once I realize. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure what else makes color besides these. So, we'll see. I don't think it's gonna work, though. It, oh my god, I was right, okay. <laughs> I'm surprised. Alright, I mean, that makes sense. Those are the three items that change, um change colors of things, but I, I was wrong about the pixel thing overriding, and it looks like the barrel overrides the other two. So I guess that makes sense. Um, I, I don't... I, I, I think I'm just going to look up what this is, though, instead of racking my brain about it. It has to be the fire extinguisher and something else. It like, would be ridiculous otherwise. But stop, drop, and roll is what you tell people that are on fire. I mean, so should it be this, then? Should it be like a humanoid thing? I mean, that could make sense, because you, you're telling the person to stop, drop, and roll. And the Scarecrow hasn't been used. And let's just see, before I look anything up. We got a Scarecrow. And we'll light him on fire. And then I'll be like... <laughs> and then I'll be like, that might not have been quick enough anyway. <laughs> you gotta stop, drop, and roll way faster than that. Alright, let me look it up. Okay, so there is one other item besides the fire extinguisher that can put out fires. Do you remember what it is? Because I totally forgot that existed. It was in the third book. It uh, The third book is about food. This is something that uh, can put out fires. It has to do with food. This is a smoke detector. <laughs> it, <laughs> that makes a lot of sense. Eh. <laughs> I don't know why I thought I could just hang it on a wall like it had Velcro on it, though. That would be a cool little effect. Uh, and I guess we should also have some fire. Um, oh, I know. Okay. This will, this will be perfect. We'll get the space heater. And we'll be impatient not wait ten seconds. I, I suspected before that the space heater lights itself on fire. So let me see here. I mean, there's clearly smoke. This is a bad smoke detector. Oh, well, there we go. Stop, drop, and roll combo. <laughs> it's interesting because this clearly didn't light on fire yet. But, you know. Let's put this here. Uh. What? Uh. <laughs> there we go. Oh, God, now it's on fire. Well, I am done with all the combos, I believe, unless I miss something somewhere. What? Nope, we are good, so we're going to go on to the next one next time, and that is Shop and Awe, a pun of shock and awe, of course, so I don't know, is it going to be military stuff? I'm not sure. But uh, I'll see you guys next time, and a moment of silence for sugar plums, because, I mean, that's, that's just messed up. All right, I'll see you then.